said uh, yesterday that kind of the break-in period between non-scout work and scout work can be a little rough. And you guys struggled a little bit with it yesterday. Do you, do you think it was cleaner today? Uh, yeah, definitely a lot cleaner today. For some reason, first day of scouts has kind of <laughs> historically given us a little bit of trouble. So, you know, the whole adjusting to the tempo and all that and then uh, getting into the looks at New Mexico State or whatever our opponent's going to be in. It's a little tricky at first. So we got our feet wet yesterday and corrected the mistakes on film. We got better today. transition from you guys probably talked about it a little bit yesterday but staying here not going to Martin Stadium does it feel like the transition from fall camp is is here and you guys are really starting to prepare for real games uh, yeah the transitions here you know are getting into mock week so you know it's exciting we're preparing for a game really you know grooving ourselves for the the schedule that we're gonna be going by for the rest of the season so you know it's a little bit different but you know being on Rogers Field something we're getting used to now and for you, pretty much knowing that you're, you're taking two-thirds of the snaps, coach has said like if you guys were to play tomorrow, you'd be the starting quarterback. Does that change a little bit how you approach practice and come out on the field each day? Uh, no, you know, my approach has been the same since I got here, you know, for a while now. But, you know, throughout the spring until fall, it's been the same. Competing every day and just working to get better at whatever I can improve on and, you know, making others around me better. How much has your confidence improved in the last two scrimmages? Uh, you know, my confidence has improved, but, I mean, it's kind of – you know, it kind of goes hand in hand with like how my springs have gone in the past two springs throughout last fall and all that. So, you know, uh, my confidence kind of just gradually raised throughout every practice. Uh, seeing Trey out there was great, you know, competing against Trey for four years now, it's awesome to see Trey out there. Having him by my side when I'm out there telling me what's going on, you know, it's always cool. So it's great to see Trey out there today. Baseball had much of an influence on your football career? Uh, you know, I don't know. I guess uh, the way I deliver the football sometimes kind of reflects a baseball background, I guess, you know, sidearm and all that. But, uh, yeah, I guess a little bit. Was it easy to start getting into more of a rhythm when you were taking reps every day rather than getting two days and taking the third day off and kind of getting back into it every, every, every few days? Yeah, definitely, you know, definitely, you know, grooves your mind to just be ready every day, you know. Having an off day, you know, it's – not technically an off day, you know, you're still taking mental reps, throwing the ball and stuff, but uh, knowing that I'm going to be getting reps most of the day, it's, it's helped me with my mindset and all that, getting better every day. The fact that this is the last public practice, no media, no fans, no families, anything like that, um, how does that kind of change the approach you guys have the rest of the way? Uh, you know, now it's really just Cougs versus everybody, I guess, you know, but uh, no, it doesn't really change much, you know, we still, we're all about doing our job, media here or not, you know, we're, we're focused on our job and what we have to do to get better alluded to uh, trying to learn from Gardner last year how do you how do you reconcile that with you know having you know a, a, your own personality to 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 express it through you know uh, Gardner was great at creating his own energy say we're a little flat one day Gardner would get us going with screaming or whatever he would do you know everyone responded to it well so I'm drawn from that while being myself you know like relating to the guys in a way that I can while also being a little bit more boisterous a little bit more outgoing and all that get the guys going create my own energy what would you say you learned about yourself just having to start leading these guys as, as QB1? Uh, you know, I definitely have learned more about myself as a leader, you know, just stepping out of my comfort zone, you know, doing stuff that I, you know, wasn't really necessarily doing my redshirt year or anything like that. So, you know, just kind of accepting the fact that I'm a redshirt senior and I'm old now, you know, the guys listen to me a little bit different, I guess. So, you know, just really taking that into account and, you know, just relating to all the players on a certain level, oh, sorry, on a certain level, uh, you know, just everybody relates a little bit differently. So finding out a way you can connect to all the guys is key.